Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be previewing William Reed Stakes Night and Golden Slipper Day. Um, two big meetings, obviously. There's some really good races on the card, especially on Golden Slipper Day. Highlighted by five group ones, that includes the Ranvit, the Galaxy, of course, the Golden Slipper, the Rose Hill Guineas, and also the race that Tiakau Shark is in. So let's get straight into it with William, William Reed Stakes Night. Race 1 is a benchmark 70 over the 1200 meters, and I think Rock Tycoon has got a really good chance. Jumps from gate 7 out of 14 horses, which isn't bad considering gets back off a fast pace. Damien Oliver goes on, good jockey. Mick Price trains. It has got some real upside, and I think he can put these to the sword. Uh, race 2 is a 3 year old set weights plus penalties over the 1200 meters as well. Um, I think Overkill will be hard to beat here. Jumps from gate 1 might not be the best, but I think it has a um, good chance. Overkill, $7. Ben Mellum goes on. Um, I think it can run well. <clears throat> the other one is Star Surprise. Uh, I think that has got a good chance as well considering it gets back and it's um, got a wider gate. Now the listed St Albans stakes for the two year olds over 1200 metres is hard because I had to split it between Larimer Street and Montia. Now they were very hard to split but I ended up going with Montia on top. Very impressive dominant win at Rooney Valley last time in um, Dave and Ben Hayes and Tom Dabernig train with Regan Bayless to ride um, good partnership. Whereas Larimer Street, Trevor Sun and Natalie Young, Damon Oliver again. Larimer Street draws two, Montia draws three. I think it'll be a really good contest. Race four is a benchmark 70 over the 2,000 metres. And I think go to line. Um, I think that'll beat Relucent. Um, Andrew Noblet, Chris Cassetta partnership. This horse ran at Mooney Valley last time. Ran well. Um, gets a good gate. Gate four. Relucent's drawn outside it. I think he can put put itself in the race and hopefully produce late. And then race five is the final of the 9:55 second 55 second challenge. Tough one. There's lots of speed on. I think I've gone with Epic Grey because it's going to get back, mostly because it might miss the start. But it'll get back, and it won last time at Mooney Valley. It's won two in a row. I think he can do it again at seven dollars. Now. Uh, race 6 is the Group 3 Alexandra Stakes over the 1600 metres. Hard to split Latin and Moose. I can't lean to one of them at the moment, but they've both got a really good chance. Um, so that's that race. Moving on to the feature, the Group 1 William Reed Stakes. And again, I have to separate Bivouac and Loving Gabby. I've gone with Loving Gabby again. And Bivouac's drawn gate one. Now we know, remember what happened in the Manicato Stakes. It got stuck. Loving Gabby won that race. I think it can do it again. Loving Gabby will get all the favours. The barrier is perfect. Two from two at Mooney Valley. 1,200 metres, that's perfect. Um, Bivouac, I reckon, will get stuck again. Loving Gabby, I think, will take it home. Scales of Justice, I think, will put in a really good performance and so will Exceedance. But Loving Gabby win. The last race is the Group 2 Sunline Stakes over 1600 metres. Um, now it's hard to split Aristia and Spanish Reef and a couple of others, but I've gone Spanish Reef. Um, yeah, I don't really think it took as much improvement from its run before it came to Flemington in the Mannerism. Um, I think, yeah, it didn't take that much improvement. That's why I didn't win. I thought I had a really good chance that day. I'm backing it this day. I think it, it can get past Aristia, who jumps from the widest gate. So, hard to be too confident. So, yes, I think the win will be Spanish Reef. Now, let's move on to Sydney for Golden Slipper Day. So, race one is the listed Munro Stakes over the 1200 metres. Hard to be confident with anyone here. I've gone with Mirror Vision, just ahead of Dawn Passage. They've both got really good chances. Dawn Passage jumps from gate one. Mirror Vision hasn't lost a career start. Jumps from gate three. I think it can win. Race two is the N.E. Marion Stakes over 2400 metres. It's a group three race. Um, 
$2.10 favourite is Mugger 2, and I think it'll win Mugger 2. Kerry McAvoy goes on, big plus. The barrier's a big plus, the speed's a big plus, the soft track's a big plus. It should just win. Now, race three is the Apona Stakes. And <laughs> this horse is $19, and it didn't have much luck last start, and I know one particular person who was on Gayatri. That person spilled his beer on my shoe. It is Gayatri that I'm tipping. Uh, $19 is a ridiculous price for a horse with that much potential. It could have gone on to win that race, but I think it can do it again. Or we'll put in a pretty good performance again. So race four, the first of the group ones is the Ranvit Stakes. Um, now, there's a horse coming from overseas. I think its name is Abadakia. It's $2.40. Um, but I've gone with Avilius just simply because it's seen the Sydney track before and it should be the favourite. Jumps from gate two, can put itself as close as it wants and hopefully it can go on to win. Race five is the Tiakau Shark race, um, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, fine, we'll worry about it. Tiakau Shark will win. Just wins. $2.20, that's a bit short, but it just wins. Now, race six, another group one, the Rose Hill Guineas, 2,000 metres. I think Shadow Hero can do it again. Uh, won very stylishly in the Randwick Guineas two weeks ago. Um, beating Castel Vecchio, who it faces again today. Um, Castel Vecchio could take some improvement with Craig Williams going on, but I think Shadow Hero will just be too good again. Group 1, well, we've already done the Golden Slipper, so Group 1, the Galaxy, 1100 metres. I think Sabatiano uh, could win. The only query is 1300 back to the 1100, but I think it can put itself in the race and prove pretty good. Race 9 I didn't bother doing because I didn't have enough time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and have a good day.